You've probably used soap dispenser spray bottle so many times without thinking twice. But what if I told you that behind its simple everyday tool lies ingenious engineering, smart design, and problem solving at its finest? From the perfectly angled deep tube to the satisfying spray action, every detail has a purpose. In today's video, we are diving deep into the design of a soap spray bottle to uncover its secret, understand how it works, and why it is made the way it is. Hello guys and welcome, it's your boy Clover. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the design and functioning of a product we use almost on a daily basis. And it's no other than a soap dispenser spray bottle. Despite being a simple product we use every day without giving it much thought, it's actually loaded with a lot of brilliant engineering. And that's what we are going to be looking at in today's video. Let's go break it down. Soap spray bottles are one of those everyday products that seem simple at first glance, but are actually clever pieces of design engineering. Their primary job to dispense soap or cleaning solutions as a fine mist or spray, giving you just the right amount of product exactly where you need it. Whether you're scrubbing a countertop, sanitizing your hands, or cleaning your work desk. But designing a spray bottle isn't just about making it work, it's about making it work well. To achieve that, there are several key requirements every designer must tackle. The bottle needs to feel natural in the user's hand with a trigger or pump that operates smoothly without strain. If you consider how often these bottles are used daily, you realize that if the design is even slightly off, it may lead to discomfort or even failure in the long term. Precision spraying, the nozzle must deliver consistent spray patterns, whether it's fine mist or focus steam. Leak proof, nobody wants a soapy liquid dripping everywhere, especially if it's being tossed into a bag or stored sideways. The internal sealing mechanism has to work perfectly under various conditions, something designers must also solve with clever material selection and precision fits. Durability Since soap bottles are reused multiple times, they must withstand repeated mechanical stress while staying resistant to chemical corrosion, which is why most are made from durable plastics like polypropylene or high-density polyethylene. We're going to break down each component to understand its function, design decision, and even the physics behind how it works. Let's start with the nozzle. This is the part that transforms liquid into a fine mist or spray. From a design standpoint, this is the most critical component as it determines the spray pattern, droplet size, and flow rate. The nozzle works using a combination of fluid mechanics and aerodynamics. When liquid is forced through a small opening at high pressure, it atomizes into fine droplets. The nozzle geometry, specifically the size and shape of the opening, was carefully engineered to produce consistent spray patterns while minimizing clocks. Nozzles are typically made from polypropylene or acetal plastics, chosen for their resistance to chemicals and wear. These materials are also easy to injection mode, keeping manufacturing costs low. Next, we have the pump mechanism, which generates the force needed to push liquid from the reservoir to the nozzle. It works like this. When you press the trigger, it compresses a small spring-loaded piston inside the pump housing. This action creates a pressure forcing the liquid up the deep tube and out through the nozzle. When you release the trigger, the spring pushes the piston back, creating a vacuum that pulls more liquid into the chamber for the next spray. The pump housing is typically made from high-density polyethylene or polypropylene, both of which are lightweight, durable, and resistant to chemical degradation. If you're finding value from this video so far, don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button. Let's carry on. Next, we have the trigger. The trigger is where users interact with the bottle, so its design is all about comfort and usability. A well-designed trigger reduces strain on the fingers and wrist, even after repeated use. Notice how most triggers have a slight curve. This aligns with the natural shape of the hand for better control. Triggers are usually textured to prevent slipping, especially when wet. The force required to press the trigger is optimized to balance ease of use with the need for strong spray action. They are usually made from ABS plastic, a tough impact resistant material that can handle mechanical stress. Moving inside the bottle, we find the deep tube, which ensures that liquid is drawn up even when the bottle isn't completely full. The tube is slightly angled at the bottom to reach the corners of the bottle. Some deep tubes also feature a filter at the end to prevent clogs from debris. Deep tubes are typically made from flexible polyethylene, which is chemical resistant and can withstand repeated bending. Finally, we have the bottle itself, which serves as both a reservoir for the liquid and a structural base for the entire assembly. It is designed for easy handling, whether you are holding it upright or tilting it. Some bottles even feature indented grips for added comfort. For manufacturing, most bottles are blown molded, a process that's ideal for producing lightweight, hollow shapes in large quantity. The material of choice here is PET, 
known for its transparency, chemical resistance, and recyclability. As far as design for manufacturing to considerations go, throughout the bottle's design, cost and efficiency are top priorities. The use of injection molding for small components like the nozzle and the pump ensures precision at scale, while blow molding for the bottle reduces waste. Components are designed to snap or screw together easily, streamlining the assembly. So what can we learn from the design of spray bottles? These humble tools may seem simple, but they are a testament to brilliant engineering and thoughtful design. Here are the key takeaways. First, spray bottles are a masterclass in combining functionality with simplicity. From the pump mechanism and the nozzle to the deep tube, every single component works together seamlessly to deliver a precise spray action. Second, ergonomics is a central focus. The bottle is shaped for comfort and ease of use, making it intuitive for users of all ages. Third, the materials and manufacturing processes were carefully selected to balance cost, durability, and sustainability. Finally, it's very versatile. The basic principle behind this design can be adapted for countless applications, cleaning, personal care, gardening, and even industrial use. So the next time you pick up a spray bottle, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity behind its design. It's proof that even the simplest tools have incredible engineering stories to tell. So guys, that's all we had time for today. I hope you're leaving this video with a better understanding of how a soap dispenser spray bottle actually works and why it is designed the way it is. In our next video, we're going to be breaking down the design and functioning of an electronic air humidifier. You don't want to miss this one, guys. So with that, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Anyways, it's been your boy, Tover Guts. Like and subscribe for more. See you all in the next one. Thank you.